Hello, I'm Professor Coe and this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Thursday the 30th of the 9th, 2021. We're going to look at the uh, results first for yesterday, uh, Wednesday the 29th of September. We had uh, a filter one race at Nottingham at 3.30, uh, which was number two, Winkham and I. Um, that came third at 9-4, to four, joint favourite. We, uh, we rejected that on filter two basis, grabbed the chalk, uh, and the odds um, pretty much rejected it as well, so we're out of that. Uh, we also had a filter one race at Kempton on the all weather at six o'clock in the evening, 1800. Um, we, it gave us two horses to look at, uh, number four, Imperial Sands, um, and number five, Radha Barg. Uh, right, so we, we had a look at those in depth. Uh, we liked, initially we liked Imperial Sands, and then as we dug deeper, we realised it had wind surgery. It was his first time out since wind surgery. Uh, originally that horse uh, uh, won first time out, um, at Kempton on the all weather, uh, and it's been after that he was mixing with sort of various uh, group horses uh, to to a lesser extent, uh, and uh, but the horse is not really firing, and it came ninth at four to one, so we, we were out of that one. But uh, we decided to have a go at this Radha Barg, uh, which came sixth at seventy two, and we did it each way. So so not only did we lose the win portion, but we lost the place part on the exchanges as well, uh, which was annoying. Um, uh, and this horse basically uh, should have done much better than that. Uh, it was uh, it was it was competitive in the Britannia. Uh, it come back from a rest. It had run in a decent race in Doncaster, etc. Excuses abound, but anyway, it didn't it didn't fire. Uh, end result minus two units. Uh, so we're now um, uh, seven and a half units up on uh, on overall since we've been restarting this program so uh, so that's where we are we'll stop it now and have a look at today's racing so don't go away right we're back um we've written up today's racing so it's thursday the 30th of september we've got two filter one races we've got warwick on the national hunt at 310 uh number six shentry uh 11 to four interesting horse it's got a structural advantage in the race um etc however we really don't think it's likely to be suited to the course uh, Warwick is quite a peculiar course. It's 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 got a very tight bend coming into the uh, finishing straight, and the finishing straight is very short, and it's uh, there's two there's two chase jumps, and then it's pretty much there. Uh, it, so uh, this this horse is more suited to a, uh, a galloping stamina uh, situation, and so we're going to have to watch that. So we're, we're we're unfortunately out of that one, but uh, you know it doesn't. Good horse doesn't fit the bill. Uh, Chelmsford All Weather is the uh, is the second uh, filter one race. Uh, this is a five furlong race uh, on on the All Weather, as we said. Uh, it's given us three horses to look at. Number five, Miss Nay Never, uh, twelve to one. Num uh, number six, uh, Medge Tham, eleven to two, and number seven, Invincible Lan, ten to one. Now we've had an in depth look at these again, and it really is. Um, very tough to split those. These are very competitive. Uh, we, we do believe the winner is likely to come from there, but from those three. But uh, and the odds are pretty favourable as well. But but we just uh, we just can't get over the ump on splitting them. Uh, we don't really want to uh, mess about doing multiple bets on that. So uh, so we're going to keep our powder dry. Uh, watch that, uh, and we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to draw a line through those. Although. Any one of those, if you're going to have a go at those races, has has uh, has, has a lot going for it, um, given the conditions and the the state of uh, the overall structure of the race. So uh, that's where we are. Uh, we're we're seven and a half units up now after that each way loss yesterday, um, and uh, we're going to hopefully uh, move it forward. It's been a bit slow. We let a six to one winner go uh, the other day. Because it, it was his third two-year-old run, uh, and arguably we, you know, we could have taken the chance on that, but we didn't. Uh, so, so things are things are a bit sticky, but but we're swinging forward. We're still uh, we're still keeping it tight, and we're in good profits at the moment. So, uh, uh, thank you for watching, and see you tomorrow for the uh, racing review.